she uses a lot of filler words and she pulls it off it's incredible and she's a lawyer too hey this is lady tina and here i give you tools to talk with your authentic charisma so you can be socially unbreakable i want to go into michelle obama in her elements now that she's out of the white house and now that she's her own personal brand how is she acting now let's check it out power i hope my superpower is empathy you know i i try very hard even in these times to understand what people are going through when they're angry or hateful or when they're doing things that just don't feel right. I try to stand in their shoes and say, there's got to be something, there's got to be a context that I can understand that helps me see how you see the world so that I can connect with you on some level. And I think that's one thing that's missing in all of us, you know, is just the ability to stand in somebody else's shoes and understand their pain, their hurt, their fears, yeah. Yeah. their loss. Um, and to see them beyond their anger. What I find very interesting about Michelle Obama is that she has a lot of filler words. She says, you know, a lot. She says, um, a lot. In all of us, you know, it's just the ability, to their loss, yeah. um, and to see them beyond their anger. And I don't recommend filler words, but even when she says her filler words, she actually speaks in down tones, if you realize. She says, um, instead of, um, you know, it's just the, yeah. um, which most people, when they do filler words, they do uptones because they're not sure of themselves. They go, um, you know, so uptone, uptone instead of with Michelle Obama, you'll notice that even her filler words are in down tones, which is a more authoritative way to talk. It's saying that she's confident and sure of what she's saying. So even when she's unsure, <laughs> she's very fully accepting the fact that she is unsure if that makes sense it just makes her relatable because she's using these filler words and i mentioned this before but advanced speakers actually do use filler words periodically in order to be more relatable but that's advanced level by the way i did a whole video on filler words and how to avoid them so check it out in the description below afterwards for some reason michelle obama pulls it off and you think to yourself why is that why is that very interesting because i never noticed it before until i was really listening and i was thinking why does it sound so good for some reason even though she keeps using filler words and i've seen a lot of her interviews she does a lot of you knows she uses a lot of filler words and she pulls it off it's incredible and she's a lawyer too and i don't know if she's doing it on purpose i i don't know I don't know, but I'm going to guess it's more natural for her. And when she's speaking naturally, she still has that authority about her. And it's because she speaks in down tones in her filler words itself. So go Michelle Obama. I love it. I love it. It just, oh, oh, chills, chills. <laughs> all right, let's move on. I think that's one of the number one issues with women. You know, I never in all my years of interviewing, I've ever heard a man say, you know, I just don't have the time. I just don't. I don't well, you, find a way you to know balance. Because yeah. they don't have to balance anything. Yes. yes. Sorry. <laughs> you know, and I hope that they... Okay, so I really love Michelle Obama's comeback there, which is, sorry, they don't have to do it all. This is called a pattern interrupt. In this case, we're talking about a behavioral pattern interrupt. When you're doing something behaviorally one way and then suddenly you change your pattern, you change what people expect of you. And that causes engagement. That causes people to tune in to see what you're going to do next. Whether it be from whispering to now I'm going to be really loud and then back to a whisper. <laughs> people are going to pay attention to that so, oh so your volume your tonality or it's in the way you animate your body language goes from here it could be from one focus to another focus michelle obama did from oprah focus into the audience focus she switched her focus into the audience so now the audience they have a pattern interrupted now they're connected back to oprah and so the more you switch around the better you are and the more confident you appear because quite honestly only confident people can feel the freedom, the flow to go from here to this, to this, to this, to silence, to loud and quiet. And, and they're more comfortable 
they're more socially comfortable to go all over the place yet they're still talking sense she's making people just want more of, of that those little moments of michelle obama i'm i'm not gonna be taken advantage of you know i just i am just not gonna keep you myself knew your value, value. That's absolutely you knew your value. Right. I was just saying that to a friend recently. And that goes back to knowing who you are. And I think it's <sighs> Okay, so you can see the fact that Oprah has caked on top of what Michelle Obama was saying. That's a great way to interrupt somebody, by the way. The way Oprah did it is you, you, your value. She's you knew your value she's doing a yes and and if you don't know yes and it's originally an improv technique is agreeing to what somebody is saying whether you actually agree but you're saying i understand i understand what you're saying and you're adding some sort of agreement words that's attached to it in oprah's case she said you knew your value and then she quickly went into her story you knew your value that's absolutely you knew your value. Right. I was just saying that to a friend. Now, Michelle seeing that, she's paused for a second and she says, okay, right. And so she, now Michelle is trying to do a yes and. Value. That's absolutely You knew your value. I was just the best way to interrupt somebody in a conversation when you want to say something is to do a yes and. Now Michelle Obama carries it back <laughs> and she agrees to what Oprah is saying and then she goes, and that goes back to what I was saying. I was just saying that to a friend recently. And then goes back to knowing who you are. And I think it because she, she's basically saying, look, I'm not done with my point here. And now Oprah starts to sit and listen. The beauty of it is that typically people will say, I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. Wait, hold on. You lose all the power there. And this just shows how powerful these two women are. They have gained the skill of knowing how to redirect power without saying it outright they're not going to ask for permission they're not going to get hectic and <laughs> try to fly down the person so they can speak up no instead they speak up and the graceful way to do it is to agree to the other person and then speak your mind so it's not that you're not listening now you're saying i'm listening to you i hear you i respect you and here is also my point Comment below, yes and, yes and, because that was so beautifully done by Michelle and Oprah. Whew. Enough said. It's, it's enough said. Yes and, yes and. Comment below. Okay, I just wanted to put myself in between the great Oprah and Michelle Obama. <laughs> Thank you, Oprah, and thank you, Michelle, for coming to my annual tea party. It's it's just it's great to see you two. It's just it's great. You gotta visualize it. You gotta visualize it to make it happen, right? Uh, that being said, that was the wrap up on how to speak like Michelle Obama. In general, Michelle Obama has this authoritative tone. Her voice overall is lower. It's not something I recommend you force yourself to lower your voice. However, she does commonly speak in down tones in general. As I mentioned, she speaks even in her filler words, she speaks in down tones. It's a very authoritative way to speak. However, she carries it off because she does her nuance of being charming. She does her own patter interrupts to keep it engaging and show her silly side, show her light side. And it really works for her. It really works for her. You don't have to be stiff. You don't have to be actually in what you say authoritative in order to speak in down tones. And it doesn't mean you always speak in down tones as well. There's a time and place for everything I always say. Hit that like button because again, it really helps me a lot. So click on the like button, make it blue for me. And you know what? You made my day and I will be one step closer to sitting with Oprah and Michelle one day. <laughs> if you click the like button, it 
it's somehow the universe is going to know and it's going to help me. So thank you so much for clicking it. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to post on my community post on YouTube. So either go to my channel, click on the community tab, or you'll see it into your news feed. And if you do, please vote because that is how I'm going to choose who I do next in the series of Speak Like. And I will see you on the next video. Remember, raise your vibe.